print on demand marketing trends and niche ideas that you cannot ignore in 2024. And this is gonna be part one. One thing that you wanna pay attention to that's really important is that you see that there's a demand. You're looking for the demand in the marketplace or in that niche. And once you see that demand, it's your job to understand what people want inside of that niche. So sometimes, you know, it may take a few days or a week or whatever it is to understand that target audience. So make sure you do your homework when you're designing for these niche ideas. Now, with that being said, let's get into the content. All these ideas that I found personally in here, I'm using a Merchant Former. And one of my favorite tools to use inside of Merchant Former is Movers and Shakers. And what it is, it's come over here to product research and then you hit Movers and Shakers right there. And then as it loads up, it has like a daily, you know, daily search on Amazon, right? And obviously like, let's say for example, that we can come down and Bahama Mama, let's go down, don't poke the bear. Like if we click on any of these, it's gonna go straight over to Amazon and it's gonna show that actual t-shirt design. But as far as everything else, it shows like the BSRs and the sales data in here, but there's a ton of different ideas that you, if you're lost, like you use this right here, come down here, just look at all the different information that it's sharing with you. There's never like, you cannot run, about, run out of ideas. You can like grab two or three or four different niche ideas or just come up and get some inspiration from here and see like what niches are selling, where's the demand at, right? Cause it'll give you like the BSR information. It'll show you here. There's there's a ton that, that can be done inside here. So you can never run out, run out of ideas by using this. And this is my favorite tool when it comes to doing research. All right, now, so the first idea is going to be a New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's. Now it's already passed, right? But this time again, next year, this is one of the niches that I've kind of like overlooked. And I really, it's like, it's a, it's a, but it's just like something that you're paying attention to the, the next the up and coming holidays and you overlook certain things, but this is a really good idea. You can actually pop off a top selling design. I've seen a few different top selling design designs in this niche that do really well, but I personally haven't went for it, but I'm just sharing with you because it just, it's there and it's obviously an opportunity for you to make sales straight out of 2023. You can see straight out of 2023, New Year's Eve, 2024 holiday. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a funny saying and I've, I've straight out, straight out of, you know, this, this type of saying, and, you know, just switching out the bottom part right here, you have a 2023, you can do 2024, get ready for 2024, 2025. If you want to go ahead, get ahead and, and have that design up there, you can possibly, you can do that too as well. But this one right here, straight out of 2023, New Year's. Now, the next niche idea is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now, you know, when it comes to this type of stuff, I personally haven't designed for this one right here, but it's like actually a good idea, um, especially with people that, actually like to wear statements on their shirts. There's a lot of people out there that like that. So if you can think of any like, like, like this, for example, his dream still matters. This would be a good, it's a good t-shirt design, right? Now, when it comes to anything like this, I kind of keep it more of a general because you never know how Amazon or any of these print on demand platforms. And by the way, any of this design research that I'm sharing with you, you can use on any of these platforms. Like this is just inspiration. These are amazon.com is the number one online shopping platform. And there's a lot of data, there's a lot of sales volume, there's a lot of customers over here. So you, if you can implement and you come up with a new design idea, most likely you could probably work on Etsy, Redbubble, TeePublic, Spreadshirt, or whatever design platform or print on demand platform you're selling on. Simple text base. If we come down, we look at the BSR, you're gonna see that, you know, it starts to make sales in the middle of January, right? You can see, and then it's at the beginning, right? And that's in the past, you can see that it always continues to make sales every year. Then it goes in like April, it starts to make sales too as well. But right now the BSR and the algorithm of the sales rank, seems like it's pushing it down a little bit. And you can see that it dropped all the way down to 53K BSR towards actually on Christmas and it shows right there. So it's actually a good idea. You know what I mean? Martin Luther King Jr. Day. If you can think of anything related to this, do a little bit more research. And you can see in right here, celebrating Black History Month, anything like that. You can see how they put in the description. It's a really good niche. All right, next niche is going to be Australia Day. So anything like I'm thinking kangaroo right off the back, right? Kangaroo, Australia shirt, Aussie, a vintage. And then just a, it's, the design is just a, you know, you got a kangaroo on the shirt, like a vintage, vintage, vintage silhouette, right? And if we go down right here, let's look at the BSR and Australia Day is on January 26th. And if you look at this right here, you're going to see that, look at this. This is like, one thing is like leveraging a, a holiday and then having it make sense to, you know, the actual day itself. And then every time it comes around, it just gets an extra boost in sales. Like you can see that it's just a simple silhouette design, right? Nothing too crazy, but 
if you can figure out a way to implement something like this into your niche or something that you know, and then every time a certain holiday comes around or just it's just busy to Q4, right? And it's and there's a lot of sales velocity going on, a lot of people shopping online, you can leverage this and just it crushes. Look at that. Just consistent sales every single week with this one t-shirt design. But I think right here, Australia Day, you know, uh, this would be a perfect actual design idea and I probably might get a little bit of boost in sales, but it looks like, you know, it's it's consistently making sales already, which is really, really cool. All right, next niche is going to be Groundhog Day. This is gonna be February 2nd, as you can see right here. This right here, this is one of the, one of my favorite niches. I'm actually personally in here too as well. This is a really cool, crazy groundhog lady. You'd be surprised by how many sales this niche gets, right? This start this this niche niche started making sales like two months ago, three months ago. And it's it's consistently making sales. And then throughout the whole year, it makes sales consistently. Because like I said, if you create a really cool design, like take your time a little bit and just nail down a really good design and think about the niche a little bit more and who's buying it, that right there can make all the difference. And that's how you create a top selling design in a niche. And it's gonna make sales because people just love the design. You know, they, they think it's really cool. Like for that example, this one's really cool. If we come down, look at all time sales, you're gonna see that, you know, in January it starts to make sales. Then it can, and then obviously on the February 2nd, it's making sales, but it's starting to make sales, but then it turns into a consistent seller pretty much all year, right? It may not make the most sales, but it's making sales. And, and it's not even making sales like just because it's February 2nd, right? You can see that it's over here making sales in, in November. You can see this making sales in, in, in May, like just because it's a cool shirt, right? Let's turn another one, Groundhog Day birthday. So now mixing holidays and birthdays, like this is one way to, to do it too as well, especially with like New Year's. Like New Year's is a big day and if your birthday's on New Year's, that's and you're crossing those two niches together. It like you have birthday and New Year's and you put those two together and make a cool design. That's like, that's talking to somebody, right? You're gonna have someone that's standing out in, an, in a crowd that it's their birthday and they're gonna wear that t-shirt. So something to keep in mind, right? It just, there's there's so many different ideas that can, you know, that you can do right here. And then if we come down right here, we look at all time sales. Look at this, yeah. It's made its first sale in uh, 2018 and it's been up for many years already, right? But it's consistently making sales when it comes closer to February 2nd, right? Now, Chinese New Year is, is, is like, they celebrate it for a whole month. So it's January 21st to February 20th. And it's the year of the dragon. This is, this is always a really cool niche every single year because I think as a designer or, you know, as a, a person that's creating t-shirt designs, every single year that this comes out right here, this is a good idea because it's like, it's challenging you to create something different. There's always, you know, I think last year was the year of the rabbit. And uh, I think there's one year that was a year of the pig. And now, now this year is the year of the dragon, right? So make sure you're getting that down correctly. And you understand that. And you can see year of the dragon, 2024, Zodiac Chinese new year, 2024. And look at this cool design. And this is one thing too, as well. If you create a really cool, just, you don't even have to put 2024 on it, right? Cause it kind of, it'll kind of, you can create a design like that. But if you, once you put 2024 on it, it's like, it's only good for 2024. But if you do like more of a, keep it more general, like just a dragon on there, right? You can possibly create a evergreen design that will sell all year long. You can see what, the, what they did with the colors and stuff like that. Really cool design. I think it's cool. And then if we come down all time sales, you're going to see that it made its first sale in 2023. Interesting. 2023 and it was making sales already. So this is, they're making, this is making sales in 2023. But now when it comes into 2023 and gets closer to 2024, you can see that it's, it's, it's pushing some numbers and making sales, which is really cool. I got way down to 45 K BSR, cool design. And I can see something like this I mean, working really well. Now, next one, Chinese writing, dragon lover tattoo, new year t-shirt. Now this right here, I'm not sure what the Chinese writing says, but it looks like more of a, this is what I was talking about, more of a general type of design and it's making sales. And doing something like this, leveraging something like this can turn into an evergreen design. And it's cool because it's looked good on a white t-shirt, looks good on red, you know, and all the lighter colors because it's, it's a black colored design, right? All black color. And then we look at all time sales to see if this BSR backs it up. Hmm, and it does. So this is what I was talking about. Exactly. So 2019, but now look at when we're getting closer to uh, Chinese New Year. 
it starts to push down and make the most sales ever. Starting to push into the algorithm and the BSR is pretty low and it's at 85K BSR. And I think when it gets closer and closer to Chinese New Year, this design is probably gonna take off. And that right there can leverage into more reviews. It can let, show the algorithm that there's a demand for this. Customers want this in return. There will be a sales volume for it. All right, so the next niche idea is going to be Valentine's Day, and this is going to be on February 14th. Now, think about, you know, you're like a lot of animal animals, cats, dogs, and then think of different breeds inside of, you know, cats and dogs and llamas, sloths. So there's, there's a lot that could be done in here. Cute sayings for kids. That seems to do really well. I have personally done really good in Valentine's Day. I've had some top sellers that make, you know, over a thousand dollars, just one design for that month, which is powerful because that's what we want as print on demand sellers this is, you know, that one design that can make you a lot of money. And then, then if you do a really good design, you know, it's going to make sales pretty much all year. So look at just a cat, cat Valentine's day, kitty Valentine's day, keeping it more general, very simple. Like this doesn't really scream like Valentine's day. It screams more of like heart, you know, like love, like uh, loving, cat you know that's what i feel just a more of a, a cute cat right um that's what i what i see when i look at this this type of design and it's nothing too crazy right is there's anyone like you can do this anyone can do this you can like you you know you're looking at something like this you can create something like this right and if we come down we look at the all-time sales let's check it out uh, that's interesting right here i think that's when the the, the seam this design disappeared i think when this is when amazon closed for the COVID thing that was going on with the amazon facilities right they closed down amazon merch for a bit right there but then it starts to make sales and this bsr chart is a little weird and this is something like you look at then it shoots all the way up like these type of design i don't know i'm not sure what the heck's going on there but then it goes all the way down to like it's making sales but it's just bonky it's all over the place it's made its first sale in 2019 and it seems like one of those designs that got stuck into the catalog and they're refreshing it and messing with it it seems like but this is a, it's a it's a cool design it obviously has 41 ratings right it's been making sales it's up there it's a it's ranking into the algorithm all right and then you could just like i said you could apply this to any single niche that you like you want like you know that a bearded dragon you know anything any type of animal that you can possibly think of a reptile whatever it is that people love think about what someone loves bears anything like that that would be a good idea exolatos this beard is taken you can see this beard is taken valentine's day t-shirt now all white you know all white text and then it has like a beard right there a beard on the bottom now certain sayings about you know beards anything that's like like masculine or anything that's like women love or anything like that see stuff like that that can be a really good idea it can be a really good shirt design t-shirt design that you can possibly create now if we come on here we look at the all-time bsr you're gonna see it's it's making sales making i'm not sure what the heck this is right here it's going on here but then it goes right here in 2023 it did pretty good for valentine's day it seems like right now it's getting that boost again into the algorithm and it seems like it's going to do the same exact thing again this year now the one thing i see a lot of people do is they switch out the keyword and add that valent valentine's day keyword into their title to leverage the search velocity and bring traffic to the actual design to make more sales it's not a bad idea to test out if you haven't done it test it out if you have a design that will work really well for this holiday I recommend you do so. Now, the next niche idea is going to be uh, President's Day. It's going to be February 19th, 2024, as you can see right here. Now, when I come over here to Amazon, you're going to see like, you know, if you're understanding like with this niche right here, I'm really not into it as much as some other ones that I'm showing, sharing with you in here, but it's a good idea. As long as you, you know, you're following the rules and you understand everything that you're doing as far as like, you know, trademarks and copyrights, all that stuff. If you don't understand it, I don't recommend you go after it. If you're confused, I don't want you to be misleading you in any type of way. But you're looking at some of these, desi these designs I'm going to show with you. They've been up, you know, they're making sales and they're consistently making sales. Now, for the most part, if it's a current president as of right now, you know, it's a free, it's free game. You can design and create designs around a certain president. It's now Amazon is cracking down. Remember, we're on Amazon's platform. Depending where you're selling at, right? Etsy might be a little bit more lenient. Redbubble might be a little bit more lenient. It's their platform. They make the rules. They can they can do whatever the heck they want. If they don't like something, they'll take up, they'll tell you to take down the design or they'll take it down themselves. Now, like a current president, like Joe Biden, he is a free game. Now, if any other president is running for president, they are 
free game to actually create designs for. Now you just want to be careful that you're not like, uh, they're, like I said, they're getting more strict about like, you know, how you're, you're, you're certain saints to sort certain presidents. If you're including their name or hatred or anything like that, they seem to be taking more of those designs down because they're not, they're not trying to like belittle the president and be mean to the president and stuff like that. And they don't, they don't like that type of stuff. And they're kind of locking down on that a little bit, but then I see certain designs that are making sales, right? So for this example, Washington Adams, 1789 American president's day, U S history. We come down all time BSR. You're going to see it's made its first sale in 22 too. And it's consistently making sales look at that crazy and then in september it just drops down the bsr drops down and it just continues to make sales but something like this president's day like this design is probably going to be one of the top sellers out there now i could shit a better president now you kind of see what they did here this little s and you got the dot right there that right there you're trying to like go past past the algorithm so if that's you and you're doing that i wouldn't recommend you put that period there because if amazon doesn't want certain designs up they're they're kind of strict with certain things as far as you know like cuss words they they they're the one second they're you can use like cuss words on a t-shirt and then the next thing the next day they're like no you can't do this so they actually the rule is like you can't do it you can do it you can't do it so i got to a certain point it's like all right i'm not creating those type of designs no more because i feel like they don't even know like if it's if, if they even want on the platform so if they feel confused about it i feel confused about it i'm not gonna do it so this design right here, you're going to see it's kind of just being sarcastic towards the president, like being, I could, it's being sarcastic towards the president, right? And, and Or any president in general, right? And because you can see that this design's been up since 2021 and then it's consistently making sales and it's more of like an evergreen t-shirt and then it's continuously making sales in 2023. <laughs> All right, the next niche is going to be St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Now, this is a very, very popular niche. This niche, you, I've seen, I've no, I know a few people that create just top sellers in this niche. I haven't, I have a few that are like there, but not there, but they make consistent sales every single year when this holiday comes around. But I know a few people that are making, you know, like a few of their designs are making two or $3,000 a month just because of this holiday. It is crazy. So it's a party. It's a party. A lot of people celebrate this. They drink, they drink green beer. It's a lot of crazy stuff that's going on for this holiday. But for example, look at Lucky Shamrock St. Patrick's Day. And you're seeing the colors, Kelly green and grass green. And it's all white text t-shirt all white design t-shirt text, you know, and then it has a little element there. And if we go down and you're going to see in 2021, it started making sales, right? And then 2023, it makes sales. But uh, there are a few top sellers in this niche that just crush like crazy, especially with the, the holiday coming up. There's, there's, there's a lot that can be done right here. Happy St. Pat rex day <laughs> um this is a cool one you got a t-rex you know uh and I, I think it's a you know they're doing the kelly green the grass green and uh he's holding a four leaf clover right and if we this design if we come down the all-time sales you're gonna see that it does hey, look at that it makes sales it's consistently making sales all the way from you know like february seems like that's where the demand is and then it starts to trend down and i'm pretty sure there's some that are selling right now that are you know just top sellers the same thing here. You're going to see like middle of, of January starts to make sales sooner, middle of January, and then st starts to trend downwards and make even more sales. So like, it seems like as it goes up, as it's been up, it starts to make more and more sales. And that's really cool because that's what we look for. And I think it just starts to rank into the algorithm more and the, this, like the sales, the sales velocity and the rating and stuff like that. Now it has a low rating because I'm assuming that with that green silhouette T-Rex green and the, and the green from the uh, the four leaf clover right there, what ha what's happening is kind of seems like it might be blending in to the T-shirt. So something to keep in mind when you're doing this type of stuff. All right. Now the next niche is going to be Marty Gross and that's on February 13th. But there are a lot of events going on. So I want to say it's like that, like. It can be two weeks, so it can be it can be like February, like the beginning of February all the way to the end of February. They have a lot of events that are going on. So if you do a Google search, and that's in the U.S., if you do a Google search, you're going to see that there are a ton of different events that they're you know they're hosting for Mardi Gras. Now, the, you know you're going to understand like the colors and the different elements inside of the niche, but 
let me show you a few designs that are you know they're doing pretty good so mardi gras bourbon street new orleans retro gift t-shirt now this is a cool one now when it comes to anything like this right i'm assuming that bourbon street is actually like one of the main streets that they have it on that's what i'm assuming and it's like it seems like this would be something that would be sold on a, in a gift shop over there right so this would be a good idea so if you could think of anything like that think about like when people go to like new orleans i know that in san diego there's san diego california there's a big the big big event where the, you know they shut down have been to one where they shut down like f like four blocks right it's a whole block and everyone is just out there celebrating having fun they close down the whole block like almost the whole downtown and uh, it's it's big right it's a big thing now if we look at all-time sales right here you're going to see that you know the bsr disappears right there that seems like to be when all the you know stuff was going on in the world of covid and you're looking at some of this stuff you go down you're going to see 2022 but here 2021 2020 it's making sales making sales making sales and then throughout the whole year of 2022 it's still making sales which is really cool and then in 2023 look at that just drops all the way down to 38 42k bsr and then i'm expecting it to do the same thing this year too as well so if you look at this it's 35 ratings 4.7 out of 5 it's it's a cool design simple nothing too crazy about it right next one is marty gras crawfish happy mardi gras 2023 matching party see what they did there but they got crawfish right in the like the mardi gras color going on right here and they seem like they just put it on the, the lighter colors right i'm pretty sure they have like a the darker color for like the black t-shirts and you know the heather grays and all that stuff one rating let's come down look at the all-time bsr and this is a weird one too as well you can see that it made sales in 2023 see so it made started making sales and then it just shoots all the way up then it shoots all the way down but that's all the way down to 34 k bsr right now so this one pay attention to this one this one is looking like it's promising for this year to make even more sales which is really cool because that's what we look for as print on demand sellers all right next dish is international women's day and this one's going to be on march 8th we rise together national women's day t-shirt um it's pretty cool you know it's because these are all these are all women they're all they're all different right which is cool we rise together and uh 66 ratings and we come down right here all-time sales look at that dang that's what I, I like to see you know this is what i like to see look at that you can see when it gets closer to na uh international women's day like look it's just a big drop but then it just continuously sells throughout the whole year this is something that's pretty cool I love to see this type of stuff, uh, especially with t-shirt designs and nothing too crazy about this design either, right? It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, and, and I like it a lot and it's, they just have it on the women's type only. Next one, National Women's Day. You can see what the International Women's Day, you can see uh, what they're doing there with the keywords, right? Embrace, equity, equality, International Women's Day. And they actually have it on the t-shirt. So if we come down all time and this is another weird bsr again you're going to see that you know obviously when it gets closer to the holiday it's the bsr starts to get lower right you can see it get lower right there does a little whoop and then it shoots up i'm not sure what the heck happened there but it seems like the bsr is starting to drop down again and it's starting to push it into the algorithm all right next niche is going to be easter and it's march 31st 2024 sunday it's, it's crazy how the holidays are switching around right usually yeah usually with you know certain holidays i'm used to it being in april right? I'm used to being in April. Never. I don't think in my life I've seen it in March. It's usually April, right? But this year it's in, it's in March. Interesting. Now, if we come over here, we look at Easter bunny, we're looking at the first design Easter bunny and then shirt girls, ladies, Easter, Easter, Easter gift, t-shirt. They got an Easter bunny looking back with the little tail and the cute flowers and a little bird with the heart. It's a cool design, right? Cause this is not like a text-based design. This is more of like an illustration. I think it's a really cool one. And you can see 39 ratings, 4.5 out of five. And then we look at all time sales and you're going to see that, you know, every single time in, in April, it starts to trend down, make more sales. And then as you keep going, you're going to see that it's consistently making sales. This BSR chart is off the chains. Look at that. That's crazy. That's that's cool. So, but this is a consistent sell. When I see, well, every time I see this like this, you're probably going to see me smile and light up because I'm like, ah. That's a cool one. That's making sales. You know, it's definitely making over a hundred dollars a month for Easter for sure, just because of this one design. Next one I thought was really cool. It's like Easter festive illustration with charming dark dolphin artwork. And the reason why I thought it was cool is because look at it. It's like it's not saying like Easter, but it like it has like the colors Easter festive. And, and I think it's just you know mixing different uh, like different dolphin like a mix of dolphin in for example instead of a bunny, and but using like kind of like that easter themed colors right and and then next thing you know it look at it it just hey it's 
cranking. A really cool design that's consistently making sales. So just something to think about, like lever like thinking outside the box and it doesn't just have to be a bunny on a t-shirt using Easter festive. And I'm not sure if this is anything like an Easter festive, like this is the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, but I, when I was doing research, I came across this and I think it's a really cool design. So Easter festive illustration with charming dolphin artwork, cool design. All right, next niche is gonna be Earth Day 20, April 22 to 2024. So it's on a Monday. This is one of my actual favorite niches. When I first started doing Amazon merch at the very beginning, or we just selling t-shirt designs online in general. This is one of the first niches that I went after. I think it's a, it's a really cool niche. And there's some top selling designs I've personally created inside of here. Just thinking about, you know, just being just like kind of just being cool and just thinking of being creative and coming up with different ideas. Created some really cool illustrations inside of here i speak for the trees earth day save earth inspiration hippie and you're seeing what they did here right kind of got the the earth in the middle the trees on the side i speak for the trees i'm assuming those are trees right and then if we come down all time bsr look at that dang and then like i said every time it gets closer to you know earth day it seems to trend down and it's making sales consistently but then you leverage that right you're creating something for earth day but then you create you create something that's really cool that everyone likes and then next thing you know you have a consistent sales so making sales all year long this is a perfect example really cool design i love your mother earth day every day love your mother planet environmentalist t-shirt it's like a cool design right i like it I, you get the point, right? You're looking at it. You understand it. All-time sales. You're going to see that it made its first sell in 2021. And then in 2022, started consistently making sales all year long, right? And then in 2023, look at it. It started making even more sales. And now it's starting to be pushed into the algorithm. And the BSR seems to be hitting all-time lows. If you look at it compared to the rest, the BSR is trending downwards and getting lower and lower. All right, next is going to be Memorial Day, and it's May 27th. Now, this is a very, very popular day in the U.S. So if we come over here, look at some of the designs, you're going to see all I gave, all gave some, some gave all. And it's like a patriotic type of day. So keep that in mind. So you're going to see a lot of the, the American flag being used in this. You have a, a soldier right here taking a knee with the over the, the with the American flag right there. And you can see what they're all. Some gave all. You're going to see what they're using here. Memorial Veterans Day, patriotic USA military. And then one thing too as well, just keep it more general as far as like if you go anything, if you design anything for this niche, you're not, you're not using any of the military branches because Amazon will take them down unless you have the rights to do so. If I come over here and you can see, look at this too, $24.95. That's a good, that's a good price. That's a high price range right there. And you see, it's, it's always been at that price range. It seems like $22.90. You can looking at it right here, right? It's made its first sale in twenty two two, and it's at 22.95 it's making sales consistently and then if you if you see it it's making sales throughout the year and then in 2023 it seems to do its best in uh may you're seeing that right and then you go and then it starts to make sales in august and then it drops down uh, q4 starts to make sales too as well but the price point is 24.95 which is really cool so they're obviously created a design and a, a pretty cool one i believe and nothing too crazy about it they have a silhouette of a soldier american flag and then some text now patriotic the next one is remember the fallen patriotic american flag remember the fallen memorial day t-shirt this one's at 22.95 too as well you have a soldier with the american flag looks like he has a helmet off on the actual gun or he's just taking a knee with the helmet on the gun and if you look at the all-time sales you're gonna see in 22.2 it started making sales right and same thing here that's a consistent seller and the price point is at 22.95 interesting very interesting all right the next niche is the next holiday niche uh is Mother's Day. May 12th, you're gonna see right here, Mother's Day in 2024 is on Sunday, the 12th of May in, tw in week 20. So we come over here and look at the first design, homeschool mom is not for the week, Mother's Day for mama. You can see what they did right here, Mother's Day for mama. That right there is something that is probably being auto populated into the search bar of Amazon. So keep that in mind. And then homeschool mom is not for the week. Kind of see what they did there. Oh, cool one. I like it. I like it. I see what they did here. And one more thing too is like when you look at certain designs, right? You're like, oh, I don't know if it's a good design. I'm not sure if it's good enough. Some of these designs that we look at personally, it's not up to us. 
it's at the end of the day, it's like up to the market because I have designs that don't even, I don't even think they're going to sell. Right. And then they end up being top sellers in certain niches and the designs that I think are going to sell, they don't sell. So it just, at the end of the day, it's like the market decides if it's a good design and we can try as best as possible to make a good design. But honestly, like some of the designs that I think are, that I personally created that are not so good, they make sales. Right. And it just because the market, you know, decides if it's a good t-shirt design or not, right? So 19 ratings, 4.5 out of 5. Come down right here. All-time sales. 2020, 2021, it made its first sale. And then it's continuously making sales throughout the whole year. Look at that. In August, like, look at that. It's a consistent seller. Top selling design. Now, Mother's Day using that, leveraging that, that keyword in there. Pretty sure it's going to get even more traction this year just by that. And they even have it in the brand too as well. So I think that right there is going to get give the design more traffic, more traction. And then as of this year, it's hitting like low BSRs that it's ever hit in 2023, right? And then going into next year, it should be a pretty good design, top selling design. Number one, mom, number one, mom, mama, mother, funny, Mother's Day t-shirt, right? <laughs> Speaking in keyword, in keyword language, that's a cool design, simple, all white. It's a text-based design, nothing too crazy. And then we look at all-time sales. You see, it's made its first sale in 2023, and then it's consistently making sales. Get a little bit of a dip in in May, right there, right, and then going, and then it's it's some it's hitting some low BSRs, right, which we like to see. We like to see stuff like that. That's because it's showing consistency. And then this year, kind of see they kept that price at 16.98, and then they raised the price to 7, um, 99, 17, 98, was 17.99, right? And it's it's on track to do some numbers this year, which is really cool. All right, next niche idea is going to be uh, June 19th, June 19th, 2024. You're going to see that's, well, it's on June 19th, right? And I, I'm going to have some of these these holidays a little bit mixed up in this video. Just keep that in mind. I just, you know, as I'm going along, I'm kind of understanding different ideas and just putting them in there because I, or as I was creating the, like, this video idea, I was coming up with just different ideas on like how to do, you know, or just thinking of different niche ideas as far as like, you know, holidays. And I was like, oh yeah, this one's a one, this is a good one. And just coming up as I've created the, you know, the whole research process and, and, and put a little, you know, to take these type of videos, take a little bit more effort. But as far as like, this is a good holiday, this is a good niche to go after. And that's what I'm doing is kind of breaking this whole, this, this part one of this video going into the whole concept and the whole idea of, you know, what niches to go after the first year to help you be more successful with print on demand. And these are just different ideas that you can use. These can be used for designs. These can be used for books. You can come up with different, you know, product reviews and stuff like that, or whatever it is that you're doing. Just think of different ideas. This is to help you and give you a better idea of what to look for. So first design over here for this t-shirt, Juneteenth, Juneteenth, African American freedom, black history, June 9th, 19 t-shirt. And you can see what they're breaking down right here. They have the colors too as well. Kind of has that big circle logo design. And just always think about like when you go into any niche, like the color schemes and, and, and then like, you know, who they're targeting, who's going to buy this. And you're going to see like this has 736 ratings. That's crazy. That means like there is a big, big, like there was a big demand for this actual t-shirt design, right? And it just, it's a simple text base, you know, it has the fist right there, right? And it's a cool design. It's a really cool design. And if you come down all time sales, like in 2021, look at that in June, look at this crushing all the way down to 3000 BSR. And it's consistently making sales throughout the whole year, all the way down to 7k BSR. And that's in 2022, making sales throughout the whole year. Then all the way down in 2023, again, all the way down to, you know, six, seven. So like, I think every single year, this probably, this one design is probably making, you know, three to four, three to five thousand dollars a year. And, and I'm pretty sure it might, might even be more, but just one design. That's, and that's the power of print on demand. Like if you can create five or six or seven designs doing that for the year, like if you do the math, you know, you're making over $30,000 a year just, you know, with, with these type of design. So just obviously understanding your target audience, who you're going after certain events happening in the world, stuff like that can give a big boost, make a design trend. And then it goes viral, get that trending design goes viral. Then it starts to make sales and it starts crushing it in the Amazon algorithm. Okay. July 4th, June, Juneteenth. And you see what they're doing right there. 1965, June June 19th, 26 ratings, 4.7 out of 5 reviews. It's a very creative design, right? And obviously, July 4th, it's crossing that out. And it's like, it's making a statement. It's making a statement. This is what I talk about, like when you're designing or, or creating a design, like making a statement with the design, like this is exactly what it is. And if you look at the all-time sales in 2021, like look at that. 
dropped all the way down below 3k bsr that's crazy then it kind of does that it goes in july again it kind of drops down not as much as the first time here but it's you know it's consistently making sales throughout the whole year and just that little weird thing with that bsr again but this is crazy to see these type of designs 526 ratings 4.75 these designs like this just crank crush and and people buying them like that all right the next holiday is going to be uh, father's day uh, june 16th so this is a big day too as well it's like uh mother's day and father's day they're they, they both do pretty good funny father's day shirt for dad from daughters from daughters from fathers from daughters father's day t-shirt dad we have tried to find the best gift for you, but we already belong to you. It's a cool design. A cool design. 570 ratings, 4.7 out of 5. So just by looking at this, this is like in 1999. We got two, like a, so two colors came going on too, white and red, right? And uh, it's taking up the whole design space. Something else to keep in mind, if you're looking at the design space, it's like that whole mock-up, right? The whole design space on Amazon Merch, it's taking up that whole space. And it's something to, th to keep in mind with other mock-ups or anything else that you do. This is, when you're looking at this, you wanna make sure that you're taking up that whole space. It's not too small and you want it nice and big on there, right? And then if we come over here all time, we look at the all time, you're gonna see that it's just crushing. <laughs> like it's crushing. Every time it gets closer to Father's Day, right? And we said it's on June 16th. You're going to see that when it gets closer to June 16th, right? It's crushing. Obviously, the days vary for each year. But even like, look at that. Even when it gets closer to Christmas, it trends down. So like thinking of a leveraging, so you're leveraging like one, like one holiday, Father's Day, right? But then every Q4, when it gets closer to Christmas, it seems to start to trend down again. Look at that. It did it again. And it's like looking at the, you know, look at it did it again. And then it's doing it again, right? And not only that, it's just making sales throughout the whole year, but it's going all the way down to 18K, like 100K, 15K. You know, it, it, obviously Father's Day is like the big one. 4K the first year, that's crazy. 3K, 4K, and then 30K here. But it just always seems to trend down when it gets closer to Father's Day and Christmas. The golf, golf father. Now, Mixing in like sports and Father's Day, it's like a big thing, right? Golf, baseball, softball, basketball, football, whatever it is that your father likes to do, think of stuff like that. And obviously they have Father Funny, Golfing Father's Day, yeah. So they're mixing in the keyword with, you know, golf and Father's Day. 400, I mean, 48 ratings, 4.3 out of 5. And you, you have that, the golf father, the golf father. And then if we come down, look at all time sell and it's cranking and making sales throughout the whole year. Uh, and you know, look at it gets a little boost, a little drop down right there. Another little boost and drop down right there because of the Father's Day. And it's doing the same thing every Father's Day you can see because it has that keyword in there. So there's a big little drop right there. You have to look real closely. Let's say you can't get it now. Get it. Look real closely. This right here. Yeah, right here. See how it goes, goes and then it drops down. Right there. That means like, you know, it's 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 actually starting to, it's ranking for Father's Day. It's starting to rank and rank over time and rank even more. But it's made its first sale in 2018. Good niche. Now, the next niche is going to be National Blood Donor Month. Now, like with awareness months, we're going to cover a few of these months right here. With certain awareness months, they, Amazon seems to be, and then a lot of the other platforms seem to be with certain awareness, well, with all awareness months for the looks of it. There's certain designs that's been up there for years. I have created certain design, certain designs in a certain awareness months that have been up there for years and they consistent, consistently make sales every single year, every, that whole month, you'll have one design that will just crush. And it's cool because it's like, if you could think of something that's really cool, you have someone in your family that may, you know, say like autism or, or, or anything with cancer or anything like that. Amazon seems to be when it comes to that. So as of right now, it's about, you know, they may change their mind later on. We don't know. You never know. That's with me personally. It, it may be different for you. You may not want to design for those, those type of words as much. And that's like, there's nothing wrong with that. Donate blood, save saved life national blood donor awareness month donate blood if we come down here all time sales let's see now certain so like i said certain awareness months if you're looking at this like this bsr is not all all that but if you the goal is with this right here this so this type of design it's like national donor national blood donor awareness month so think of stuff like that if we come in here and i just copy this bring it over to amazon kind of just come up with different ideas and you know, so like shirt 
Okay, and type that in, right? You're gonna see, you know, certain, we're probably gonna see the next design I'm gonna share with you, but this this may be like a, you know, like a newer, newer event on Amazon, right? And there's not too many designs in here. So this may be like, a, you know, free game, see? Blood donor, 500K, 6, 6, 6, 677K. And we're just looking at, you know, just different designs and seeing that there's a demand, but I feel like something like this, anything with an awareness month, it's, it, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of demand there, okay? Um, and especially with this month right now, like I'm pretty sure if you create something that's really cool um, inside of this niche, you can you possibly create a top selling design. Yeah, so National Blood Donor Awareness Month. All right, the next niche is going to be Black History Month. So from February 1st uh, to basically uh, March 1st, so the end of the month. So from the whole month of February, right? The whole month of February, you're going to have Black History Month. And this niche right here is, it cranks. That guy, like this niche is, it just, it, it, it crushes. There's certain designs that have, I've seen that just, just come on, go onto the front page of Amazon.com and obviously just, with certain events happening in the world, like this right here, this this it just goes viral. It trends. Black History Month, Black Students Matter. Uh, if we come over here, look at all time sales. You're gonna see that it's made its first sell this year, and then it's made another sell. This, but this is the niche right here. Just it just it's cranking. It's it's making a ton of sales. And if we come down here to see when it was first uploaded, 2020 May huh? May 18th, 2019. 20, 20, I feel like there's something wrong with this because I feel like this type of design right here was would be making a ton of sales let me go ahead and search this right over here to amazon right let's kind of just look at this black history month shirts i am black history let this load up black history apparel dream like martin african leader and it has like like those valentine's day heart candy like candies like little candy things right and it's kind of has like a breakdown right there let's go down over here like this one right here like this one is probably like one of the top selling designs especially for black history you can see they whisper to her you can't withstand the storm she whispered back i am the storm right and this is a, this is a, this is a cool design but look at this 3000 ratings black history month african woman afro i am the storm and this right here this design like i said if you look at all time sales like like these this bsr just stays low like look at that it just like this design is definitely made over 50 50 50 K profit just over time being up. And this is, this is, yeah, this is a big niche right here. There's a ton that can be done inside of this niche. If you create a really like a cool design and there's a, there's, there's like I said, there's a lot of inspiration right here on that front page. That's pretty, pretty good. Now, like look at this, this one, this next design, black history month t-shirts black history shirt has 180 ratings education is freedom and it has like a bookshelf right there and then they're leveraging the black history month and if you look at all-time sales and look at the cranking something just like when you see stuff like this like sales velocity like this and consistent sellings and you see the charts just going crazy and the bsr is dropping low and remember when the bsr drops low like this that means there's just a sales velocity and there's a lot possibly there's a there's a good amount of sales going in here and you can make some money if you create a really cool design but just goes to, goes to tell you like take your time creating a cool design for the niche you can create something that can make you thousands and thousands of dollars each month all right next is going to be a uh, president's day february 19th a lot of like in the u.s it's like the whole week president's week but the actual day is the 19th february 19th now what keep in mind when it comes to this like this it's a very very big day in the u.s like i said and if you just literally just president's day shirt this whole front page is going to tell you a story of different you know different ideas different designs that are populating up here which is uh, really really cool because it's, it's really that simple it's doing a search and this understanding of what's going on it's telling you a story the front page of amazon tells you a story the front page of google tells you a story it's showing you like these if you're searching this you may want to check this out this may be a top selling design so now with that being said, dabbing Uncle Sam friends, you're gonna see that they're using 4th of July and no President's Day in here, nowhere. Maybe in the actual bullet points, yeah, right here, President's Day. But it's populating on, on for President's Day shirt and it's, you can see what they're doing. They got the characters, you know, all the little cartoon characters, ideal ideas. They got the bald eagle, Abraham Lincoln, and Uncle Sam up here, and you got you know three more others right here just doing the dabbing. Three ratings, 4.7 and five, and then if we come down, look at all-time sales. Look at this, cranking. You can see, like, look at in February because it kind of trends downwards, right? It's cranking. February trends downwards again, but it's a consistent seller. Now, like a boss, President's Day, you can see they have the keywords here: Washington, Lincoln, Abe, George. Um, retro style type of style. They got the cool sunglasses on, right? The cool sunglasses on. And if you come down right here, you're gonna see all time sales. 
and we look at the all-time sales. So it's made its first sale in 2021, and then look at that. It's just going up and down, up and down, boom, just cranking, making a ton of sales, which that's what we like to see. All right, so the next Awareness Month is National Kidney Month. World Kidney Day is March 14th, as you can see right there. And this is another Awareness Month, so let's check out some of the designs. So Kidney Disease, March is National Kidney Disease Awareness Month. And it's, you know, so it's just, it's a design. It's a cool design. You can see that the color is green. So keep that in mind. So each Awareness Month is going to have its own color. Color and like most of them, like when it comes to, they have their, the ribbon too as well. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this. The color scheme, all that stuff. Pay attention to all that. Like when you're looking at this and trying to learn it, learn about the niche, understand that. So it's a very, very important. Now we look at the all-time sales. You're going to see that it's made its first sale in 2021. Now, when it comes around in March, it starts to make sales. As you can see, it gets close right here. It started making more sales at like the end of January. And then going into March, it started making even more sales, which is really cool to see. Now, the same thing, is gonna, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen for March again this year. And it's starting already to make sales even sooner than the previous years, which is really cool to see, right? Because it should. With that being said, like this seems like the algorithm is pushing it more and it's starting to make more and more sales. Next is says F kidney disease awareness, kidney disease, disease awareness month, green ribbon support F kidney disease. And you see what they're doing with the ribbon, the C and it looks like the K. So it looks like it's saying F U C K, right? 29 ratings, 4.6 out of five. And then as we come down all time sales, look at this. It, this thing is just cranking throughout the whole year. You can see in March, it kind of trends down a bit, does it here too as well. And I'm just looking at the, when it starts to kind of, the lines start to go up and down, you can barely see them. They seem like they're all stuck together. It means it's making more sales. And then this year too, it seems like it's on track to do the same exact thing. And then you gotta be kidney me, you gotta be kidding me, kidney me. Funny pun for a kidney, for a kidney donor, a t-shirt. And then as we come down all times, so look at this. This thing is just, and it's just like that retro style kind of, and they have a fist and then like the kidney fist bumping the fist. And look at that. The sales velocity is cranking on this one. All right. Next event is a uh, employee appreciation day, March 1st. All right. Uh, let's come into here. Check it out. And I didn't even know like about this until I started doing more and more research. So keep that in mind. Like when you're looking at all this stuff, it's like, wow, there's this event, there's this event, there's this, you start to get you start to learn more, which is really cool. So that's why one of the fun thing about research is I learn more as I do research personally myself and then I can share it. And then you know something that I probably don't know and then you can share it with me, right? Which is really cool. So with that being said too, if you see any mistakes or anything that I'm doing wrong, remember I'm, I'm putting a lot of content and value into this video and I'm trying as best as possible to, you know, do all the research and at the same time not sound like a damn robot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to give you knowledge and, and finding these, you know, these hitting gyms like employee appreciation day, right? It's actual day. And you can see right here that, you know, I'm a proud boss of a freaking awesome Freaking awesome employees that are a bit crazy and scare me sometimes, but I'm the lucky one because I get to be their boss. Yes, they gave me this shirt, and yes, they think it, they think this is funny. Pretty. That's a lot. That's a lot to read on a t-shirt, but I think it's a pretty cool shirt, right? All white text based. Nothing too crazy about it. Seven ratings, four point seven out of five. And then all time sales. You can see it's made its first sale twenty twenty three, and then it's just making sales throughout the whole year. But I think when it comes uh, around again, when it comes March first, keep an eye on, on this design. You can see like you know, you kind of show you that there's a demand for this this type of t-shirt, right? And it's like this design is like there's a lot on the t-shirt, but. It, it's a cool, it's a cool design. It's funny, right? Now, with that being said, you know, like think of like employee of the month, right? And I'm thinking this is someone's business and this is cool because think about it this way. So for businesses, right? And you can do like local merch for businesses where you can, you know, have a design and you can create a pri private link and send it to them. Like, hey, I can create an employee of the month t-shirts for you when you have a new employee and they'll be buying one t-shirt a month for that employee or maybe they have two employees of the month that they're going to be buying t-shirts for and it's just a good idea especially with big companies if they have more than you know 50 60 employees right it's going to be a continuously continuous thing or sometimes they might even buy three or two you know what i mean it just think about it that way it is reaching out to these different companies and and providing them a, a private link to where they can actually purchase the t-shirt and give it to the employee with this one they have a public on amazon but look at 41 ratings 4.8 
out of five, the office employee of the month. And you come down and see the sales velocity. This is interesting. I'm not sure what this is, but I was just thinking more of the concept of employee of the month, you know, employee appreciation day, and then thinking about, you know, employee of the month, but kind of the concept, that's where I was going. All right, the next awareness month is going to be alcohol awareness month. It's going to be in April of this year. And if we come over here and look at some of these designs, recovery matters, American flag, drug, alcohol, addiction, recovery, awareness, and it's priced at $16.99. You can see the colors that they got going on right here for this. Uh, you see the ribbon right there. You come over here, look at old time sales. And then this style right here, it seems to be a popular style and pretty much almost every single uh, niche. If you can implement this, you see it in the fishing niche, you see it in the hunting niche, you can see it. And I'm talking about like the American flag and how they're using it. And you know, some of them have a fishing pool, you know, through the stripes right there of the flag. And they're just mixing it up in different ways, right? So if we look at this, it's made its first sale in 2023 in March. And then as it starts to go along, you're seeing it making more and more sales. And it looks like it's just turning into like an evergreen niche and it's making sales. And I feel like with the keywords in here, and how they're using the keywords in the title and in the brand, it's going to obviously make more sales in the month of April. Recovery matters, and you're seeing right here, alcohol awareness, recovery matters, drug, alcohol awareness, addiction, ribbon. And looking at the two colors, you wanna make sure that you got the colors right. So looking at these two, you can see that, I'm spotting that, and uh, it's important that you, you have those correct colors correct colors so you want to make sure that you have those correct colors you want to research that just a tiny bit more I just caught that right now but look at this one right here this thing's crushing look at that 22 like is it's this this is something you know i love to see it's crazy doing a really good job when the bsr sells the sales velocity is crushing for this uh, design 46 reviews the lowest bsr is the lowest bsr is this this year in q4 and i'm not sure you're going to see a lot of the shirts like this you're looking at the product you're going to see like there's like a boost in the algorithm that they they gave right here going into q4 they mess with the algorithm they always do that especially with amazon merch sellers they always tend to mess with stuff right before q4 they always do that all right, the next one is going to be Autism Awareness Month. So it's the whole month of April. As you can see right here, a very, very, like there's a, there's, there's a lot, there's a ton of demand in here. Obviously where there's demand, there's competition, right? So we check out the first design. I wear blue for my son, Autism Awareness. You see Autism Awareness Month, 148 ratings, 4.8 out of five. And you're seeing like the color scheme. So make sure you're paying attention to this color scheme that they have going on and the little puzzle pieces, right? So pay attention to that puzzle pieces and, and the colors that they have going on. It's important inside of this niche if you're gonna be creating a design for here. Really cool design, by the way. And then we look at all time sales, look at that cranking. And then you can see as you start to get closer to the month of April, it seems to trend down. Same thing here, seems to trend down, make sales. And it's actually a good time to actually design for this niche, right? here autism awareness autism rocks and rolls and spins and flaps and twirls autism rocks and rolls funny autism awareness month t-shirt 20 ratings 4.9 out of 5 you're going to see like kind of like the rock and roll theme the rocks and rolls spins and flaps and twirls and you know mixing the puzzle pieces in here too as well and a uh, cool design and it takes up the whole design space too i'm not sure if you see that and if we come down all-time bsr look at that bad boy crank so 2023 as of this year started making sales and look at that it, the first year going in it went all the way down to 39k bsr and then look at it just cranking this year this thing should crush if i'm looking at this right here like this thing should this from looks of it it's gonna crush it's gonna do it it's gonna do really good this year and that's crazy to think about because it was uploaded for 2023 and but in 2024 it looks like it's on its way just by looking at this it's on its way to be a top seller for autism awareness month crazy all right next niche next niche awareness month is going to be mental health awareness you can see it's going to be the whole month of may from may 1st to may 31st and it's like this is like one of the niches in 2020 that were like just starting to just on its rise just trending up a lot of people are being more open about, you know, just mental mental health, and which is really cool, right? You good, bro? Therapy support mental health awareness month. And they got like the retro color scheme going on right here, but 
you good comma bro question mark mental health awareness pretty cool simple text base but I, I i like it you know what i mean nothing too crazy about it but i think it's just it's a good design and looking at it it's made its first sale in 2023 but just it's just consistently selling and then it's on its way this year to freaking do some numbers which is really cool to see and they have the price point up at 21.98 pretty dope anxiety sucks with ribbon mental health awareness month and you see like that green color anxiety sucks and anything that i'm sharing with the ribbons in here to make sure you're double checking them because you know you want to make sure that you got the correct color of the ribbon and then as i go down right here all time sales you're gonna see and 2020 has made its first sell but then 2021 started making consistent sales and then being a consistent seller it's not like doing crazy amount of sales but i feel like if it was shown more maybe running some ads to it you can possibly be a top seller in the niche and the overall pick right here it's to not be mental health awareness you're looking at this right here they have it on a red heather and a few other colors these are some newer colors that i purple heather cool color blue heather purple heather and the, the red heather I haven't seen those ones but by looking at this one right here 94 ratings 4.8 out of 5 and we come down look at that that thing's cranking 2021 2022 and just crushing and 2023 look at that you go into mental health awareness month and look at that all the way down to 32 31 then all q4 look at that 24 18 just cranking look at that all below 100k so this year let's, i think it's going to do its best ever and let's see you know see what that does that's it's a, it's a cool design i like it a lot all right next awareness month is going to be uh lupus awareness month it's going to be in may i have lupus i don't have the energy to pretend i like you today you have those the purple ribbon lupus awareness Lupus Warrior Awareness Sloth Energy Gifts T-shirt, 55 ratings, 4.6 out of 5. You get the sloth on there. And just keep in mind, mixing in like certain like Exolato, sloth, anything that's like trending and cool right now, you can mix it with any of these awareness months. It'll be a really good idea. So if we come down here, all-time sales, you can look at this. It's cranking. First sell, 2020, and then consistently making sales for all the way up until now look at that crushing may is lupus awareness month but for me it's also and it's they basically just name it off all the other months except for may right here because may is obviously lupus awareness month but they're saying all the other months are too as well purple ribbon lupus warrior lupus fighter lupus awareness month t-shirt 20 ratings 4.5 out of 5 come down cool design made its first sale in 2021 and then look at bsr this this data this only time i'm just kind of showing you every time i'm showing you the data the information just want to show you that there's a demand there's a sales velocity some of them may not have a sales velocity may be too new but for the most part like just looking and doing the research over the years just some of the this is like one of the main things i look at to make sure that there's a demand for the niche and then before there's a before i i jump into any niche i want to make sure that there's a demand and there's a demand i try to think of different ideas to create inside this niche to be different from everyone else because if you do what everyone else is doing do the same exact type of design like that that most likely you're going to be like design number 10 design number 15 and what's going to make you different from the other ones our right, next holiday is going to be single de mayo may 5th this is my grandpa's birthday and this is one of the first niches i personally hopped into when it came to doing print on demand this niche right here i was like huh i can create some pretty cool designs like what can i create inside this i know i can create some funny sayings about drinking just just you know different ideas different slangs you know just thinking of different stuff like that would be really this is a really cool niche and it's always done pretty good for me every single year if i come over here so first design avogato gato i think that's what you know avogato uh, single de mayo gift single de meow cat avocado so a cat a cat and an avocado and that's the idea behind it 674 ratings see something like this just mixing it like this like like i said this is a perfect example of another evergreen evergreen design because i already know i can have a yeah, see i have a feeling that it's going to sell just because people love avocados and they love cats right but then you just add in the keyword in there right? it's like look at for just look at this look at this thing right cranking things cranking and for the most part it just seemed like it's not even trending because of cinco de mayo but i think that they may have just added in oh look oh, there it goes yeah it goes down right there but then it just just catches sales velocity and then every q4 just just cranking look at that in november almost five thousand. that's crazy 5k bsr and here again oh there it goes here it goes it's starting to trend down more right here for cinco de mayo look at that 100k yeah it's just cranking 
They can sell. All right. So not your average capybara, single de Mayo. Now this right here, it's a, uh, this is a little, this little guy right here is like a, he's a little rodent right here. This is an interesting niche too, as well. After we're doing some research in some of the research that I do on the actual channel, on the channel, right? The, the channel is coming up with different ideas. And I came across this little guy right here and he's a, he's a cool little guy. And I think just when you're finding like this new ideas and then if you find like like a like a like something that's trending and people are talking more and more about if you can mix them with the holiday and be one of the first people into that hol all holiday with that actual animal or creature or whatever it is that's one way to start making sales and get ahead of your competition right but obviously you have to be on the up and up and understand what it's going on so not your average capybara single de mayo men's boys one rating cool design he has like a the nacho dip on top of his hat some stuff in there avocado whatever avocado dip whatever it is cool one and he has like a chip in his hand too as well all time sales you can see 2022 it made its first sell for single de mile for for that month and then it started making sales in q4 it's just a funny saying too by the way and you can see like for single de mile yeah, we'll see how it does, but it seems to be just turned into an evergreen niche. But if it starts to rank more and more for single de mile, it's probably going to be like, you know, one of the top designs. But if for the most part, it's just selling throughout the whole year. Nothing wrong with that. Now, the next event is Pride Month. So June 1st to June 30th. It's every single month. But understanding there's like with certain holiday, like certain events and, and certain, you know, certain months pride month there's understanding what's going on like what like understanding the like the audience more like who you're designing for that can make all the difference in making a top selling design in the niche so lgbtq bear for gay pride month and you can see exactly what they did here and uh, it's geometric a gay bear and look at the design right you got four ratings 5.5 5.0 out of 5 which is really good and uh, you can see 22.2 of October it starts you know starts to obviously starting to rank into the algorithm and then for the June it's starting to make you know it starts to make a few more sales so here okay it starts to make a few more sales for June 2023 but then it starts being pushed in the Q4 it's like literally this design is it's starting to rank but I think this year as it goes into Pride Month this is going to it should be doing pretty good but it looks like it's starting to wreck into the algorithm start to make sales you gotta keep in mind like the algorithm is weird like it can like push a design and then like one one second you see like in some of the videos i'm sharing with you it'll start to trend up and then sometimes it'll just trend down and start to get a boost in the algorithm because the algorithm will start to push it more and more right which is cool came over here typed in pride month shirt you're gonna see it says be kind and you, you know you got different the different colored hands and then you got the, the the rainbow color right there you got bigfoot walking with the you know it says pride flag it's 78 kbsr 155 43 uh kbsr it says pride month pride month pride month pride month and then it says it says it goes into demon right funny pride month demon i see what they did there and just looking at this like you're seeing like these right here like so this right here is like it seems like to be let me just click on this bring this up real fast 13 13 ratings 4.9 out of 5 you can see kind of like the, the rest of the design starts to fade out and then it goes into it says demon funny pride month demon shirt and then all time sales i was gonna say this seems like a, to be like a newer design so 2023 may in may 2023 it made its first sell then it start to trend down in june cr cranking make it sales so i think this year this one right here be on the lookout for this one because it may be a top seller for Pride Month. And you want more niche ideas like this? Watch this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. And down below, I'm going to have my Amazon Merch On Demand course. If you're unaware of that, I have that down below. And what it is, you just follow along with me and it's a step-by-step -step process. And I teach you how to make consistent sales with your Amazon Merch On Demand account. Thank you very much. Peace out.